here in Greenvale in Melbourne. We've just picked up this buffet and hutch and we're going to do a makeover on it. Um, it's not very nice here at the moment, it's a little bit humid, it's rainy, it's overcast, it's awful. The weather's awful, we're having one of those bad days and as you know when it's humid, nothing dries. The paint takes ages to dry so I've been working on some customer chairs at the moment and I always have a piece in the background so that when something is taking a lot of time I just go and start on another one. So we picked this up at the weekend, I've already sanded the top, it's come up really nice, it's either a a cherry oak or it's a um, mahogany. It's got lovely red tones in it and it's got a lot of detail. Um, previously, I think the owners had a go, had a crack at um, upcycling it, just making it look a little bit better with uh, another coat of varnish. However, the varnish that they've used, I think um, it's been an oil base or it's been a, a waxy base. Um, they've gone over with a water-based varnish or vice versa so at the moment you can just this just scratches off so it's quite an easy sand it, it's it's sand enough so the coat they put on is not taking long to get off so here is one of the doors from the base which I haven't started sanding yet so you can see the varnish on there and it just fingernail that's it it's just scratching straight off but this is a nice solid heavy wood so it's not going to take too long to get in all the detail, get this varnish off, and then we'll decide what we're doing with it. And um, we took the doors off the top. So the top of the hutch, we started, we started sanding them. This has got a lovely arch in the top. We do the card trick, put the cards behind, it's on the back at the moment, because there wasn't much sanding to do on there. Now I need to see if I can get some cards in here. I don't think there's enough space, but we'll give it a go. Um, so we'll paint those, I was thinking um, white, because white, white seems to sell, everybody likes white, so nice grey lime wash top, white doors on the bottom, white base, um, if I can sand the kick plate on the bottom, I'm going to turn that into a grey lime wash as well, and if I can get this lovely cornice on the top sanded down fairly quickly without it taking ages, I'll grey lime wash this, so I'll do all the grey lime wash, and then I'll tape it off and then we'll do the white. So I was thinking white base, white inside, white doors, and then we put it back together. On pieces like this, I really like to put a bit of wallpaper inside on the back, on the back wall. But this is tongue and groove. So with tongue and groove, you get a nice, you know, you get a nice detail at the back with those lines. I can't put wallpaper on there because of the tongue and groove. Um, it only takes somebody putting the hand in and getting in a crack and the wallpaper looks terrible with all the little indents so you would never put wallpaper on tongue and groove. The customer just, it wouldn't look nice later on so I don't do that. However, on things like this bookcase behind me, that's got a flat surface so that will definitely get some really nice wallpaper on that at some point. Once this is out of the way, I'll start on those next. So we're just going to start sanding this, sanding the rest of it today and maybe start painting it tomorrow, maybe some progress tomorrow. But let's give it a go. Let's see how beautiful we can make it again, upcycling this old piece. It's hard solid wood and it, it deserves a second life. And it'll be going on Facebook Marketplace. So keep watching, the intro is coming up. If you like what you see, please go on to the like button, click like and also, you know, subscribe. Subscribe is free. It just means that the next video that comes up, yep, you'll be able to see it and it'll just send it to the link and you'll be able to watch it. It's free, it costs nothing, and you'll see what we're doing. And I always put pieces on here first before they go onto Facebook Marketplace. So if you catch something early, you can give me a call, give me a text, to see, see if you like the piece and what we're doing with it. Thank you.
my guys die from push up cycle again and um, we've just taped off the top so it's had all this varnish on there so now we're getting ready to paint the outers white so that will take four coats so we've taped that cornice off on the top of the unit and we've taped the base off that's had enough varnish now and we don't need to tape the countertop off because there's a lip so there's a def definitive line there so we'll be okay with that yeah and we've also done a coat on the outside so now we need to start doing some more coats on the doors because they need four undercoats <music> Hi guys, here we are. We've um, almost got it ready. Doors are on. I uh, had a few little problems with the doors. We put the doors on and on the base unit, they they didn't go on very well. They, they were jamming as they went in. And like I say to everybody, give it a couple of days, let it dry out and then it should be okay. So that's what we did. We've, um, we took the doors off. I sanded the bottom of them to take the paint off because you won't see the bit, the bottom of them anyway. And just sanding that bottom off allowed that moisture inside to come out and the doors fit. So we've put magnets on. Um, same with these doors, these went in okay, which was great. We've got new handles on there. And it's ready to be staged. So just waiting for hubby and son-in-law to come over and pop one on top of the other and then we can show it off and hopefully get it on sale and have a quick sale on that one. Cheers guys! Mm -hmm.